we always advocate for reading erotica oh, on yeah. this podcast. So you may read foot fetish erotica. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like erotica is something that is untapped by so many audiences. Oh, like, agreed. Yeah. There you, can, is, you can read it in public. Absolutely. That's the beauty of Kindle. Yeah. What I love about reading erotica is that it's great for people who don't necessarily want to watch porn, Mm -hmm. but who also, like you said, you can really read it anywhere. Like, I mean, I'm not going to be watching porn Mm -hmm. outside of the comforts of my home, you know, but when it comes to reading, I read on the train, I read in the office, like there's, there's untold opportunities there. Absolutely. And I think a lot of people think like, oh, well, erotica isn't as prevalent as porn. It's like, no, you, it's, jaw dropping the amount of erotica that's available like don't think you'll ever run out of erotica like there's people writing them all the time they're being published all the time you know at least on amazon and online like that's what i love like there's always something for you out there yeah that's the beauty of Mm self-publishing um just a couple titles off of amazon kindle that have been self-published include a night with her feet and foot worship at the movies. Oh, I got to read those. those right? I mean, so you can just see that there's going to be all sorts of opportunities for you to explore. 